When you own a horse, you assume responsibility for their health and welfare. In some cases, you could be faced with making a life or death decision about the horse. When the horse dies, you need a plan. And your plan may include composting, a natural rendering process. Static pile composting is pretty magical. The animal is enveloped in carbon-based material and left for months or years with no turning or work required. It's a safe and environmentally sound solution and can be done at any time of year using the kind of equipment found on most farms. It's a good idea to plan ahead. Have some coarse wood chips, shavings, or other coarse carbon materials on hand and choose a composting site. Select a site that is well-drained, at least 200 feet from any water, including streams, creeks, sinkholes, seasonal seeps, or other landscape features which indicate that the area is hydrologically sensitive. Create a two-foot-high bed of bulky, absorbent, carbonaceous material, like wood chips that have big pieces, four to six inches long. Utility and municipal wood chips work well. Make sure that the base is two feet high and big enough to allow for a two-foot clearance around the entire carcass. Place the horse in the center of the bed of chips. When the horse is dead and before covering, lance the abdomen to avoid bloating. Cover the carcass with two to three feet of carbon material. Make sure that the whole animal is completely covered. On this farm, we used composted bedding and covered it all with more wood chips. This will keep odors under control, insulate the pile, and keep vermin or unwanted animals out. The pile will heat up and then gradually settle. Then the microorganisms managing this natural rendering process go to work. The heat generated in the pile will deter scavengers and kill pathogens. Don't move the pile for six months to a year. After a full year, the composting process will be finished. You can reuse the composted material for another pile. The remaining bones will add bulk to the base of a new pile. Years later, we used the finished compost to plant a tree. Composting works with one animal or many animals. The animals can be placed into long windrows. On small farms or large, or in the event of a disaster, natural rendering the composting of horse mortalities can be very useful. How do I choose a good composting site? The site needs to be well-drained, at least 200 feet from watercourses, sinkholes, seasonal seeps, or other landscape features that indicate that the area is hydrologically sensitive. Choose a spot where you can leave the pile undisturbed for a year or more. You could use a grassy area at the edge of a field or even a wooded area. Why does the pile get hot? The microorganisms in the pile digest nutrients and give off heat. The pile heats from within, which is why the process works during the winter. Is it environmentally safe to compost a euthanized animal? Euthanasia drugs will decompose sufficiently during the composting process. Why lance the animal before covering? If the skin is totally intact, the animal will bloat and the woody material may come off, exposing the horse. What happens to the bones? The bones of mature animals persist in the pile for several years. Bones will add bulk to a new pile. 